guys and welcome back to Jubilee Road. Now if you've been following over the past few videos that I did say that I had actually got myself another Southern Loco. Today we're going to have a look at that engine. So it's actually a Southern Region Lord Nelson class which you probably can see by there and by the title. Now I did buy this pretty recently uh, second hand from MIB models. We're going to take a look at this and I got it for a really really good price guys So this is the Bachman Lord Nelson class if I just show you the end of the box. We can see it there Sir John Hawkins in BR early emblem Lord Nelson class and it's number 30865 and there's the price Really, I'm really happy with that price um, it's in new condition. You can see the box is really in good nick. So let me just uh, get all the packaging out of the way. As usual, if we can just get out the box, the loco is in the standard Bachman packaging. It is an older model actually, so let me just move that. And in the box, we just get the usual uh, paperwork exploded diagram and all the rest of it but whoops we don't really need to uh, look into that and there's the uh, customer guarantee and stuff so that was just a bit of paperwork we don't want to spend too much time on that pop the loco back I actually don't know when these models actually came out it's a fair while ago now because it's actually not DCC ready, so it may must be a fair, uh, fair age. And if we look under here, the parts bag is still sellotaped to the underneath of the box and never ever been opened. So that's always good when you see that. Yeah, all the parts are in there. Got some brake rigging. We've got steps, a couple of vacuum pipes, and all that kind of stuff. So that's good. It's never actually been opened. So then if we turn this back over, it is in absolutely brand new condition, a bit like clan line the other day I reviewed. So um, they're not permanently attached, which is good. Ooh, there's a good weight on that. If I pop that one out a shot a minute and we have the tender. Hmm, very nice tender. So I'm going to put the Local on the line as usual and we're going to have a little look at it. So now I put the loco on the track so you can see what great condition this model is actually in. So let's have a little look around this uh, lovely model. Around the front we have, yeah, really good details. Now do we have sprung buffers? I'm going to guess not. No, now we don't. That, as you know guys, I'm happy with that. Don't need sprung buffers. I probably will remove the... Uh, a small coupling in there. We have lamp irons, we have separately fitted handrail and another lamp iron up the top. Looking really good. Nice and clean as well. Now there is one way you can tell this is an older model by the size of the wheel flanges on this model. They are quite large but I think it doesn't make any difference. It, it's a lovely looking model anyway. All of the rods they're looking really nice aren't they? Oh yeah really nice. Got this lovely pipe here, lovely bit of separately fitted detail that is. We got the name, just there, um, handrails, we keep going back, there's a number there, really nice, and 7P I believe that says above it, and it's number, as I said, 30865. Lovely printed and the lining is really nicely done on this model as well. Then we got the tender which is actually a bogey tender. It's slightly more rare in the UK to have a bogey tender. I don't know how many locos actually had it. Is, was it only southern region that had bogey tenders? I'm not 100% sure guys, let me know, but I think it possibly is. So if you go there, the coal load, yeah, it's a bit rubbish. So you might have to sort really nasty. Might have to sort that out, but that's all right. Uh, more detail at the top. These metal, yes, they are metal, metal safety valves and a metal whistle. Ooh, really, really lovely. You can see the line in there over the top of the boiler. 
Really, really nicely done. So, yeah. This model is in brand new condition. It really, really is, guys. I'm so happy paying 64 quid for an engine that is in this, this condition. Really happy. Great price from uh, MIB models. So, we've had a little look at the detail and I'm really impressed with how it looks and everything. Now, being an older model, how is the Loco going to run? That's the next bit to find out. So we'll give it a bit of um, a bit of a run and see how we go. Right, now, as I said, this is a completely analog Loco. Yes, you can make it DCC if you want. I'm not sure if I'm going to bother. Um, it's not DCC ready, so it'll be a little bit more work. So let's see how this thing actually runs. So we go down towards the footbridge as we normally do, so uh, let's have a look. Well, pretty good. Yeah, quiet. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. A little ta tad hesitant, but... But yeah, it's, it yeah, really runs nice and smooth. Really, really happy. It probably needs a good running, guys, I would imagine. I don't know how much the previous owner used it. So, as usual with my sort of local reviews, we are going to send it round the track and get a few shots of it. And I'll let you know how it copes going over the point work and round the curves on the layout. So, uh, Sir John Hawkins, take it away. Well, yeah, I'm actually really happy with the running quality of the model. Now, you probably did notice it is a tad hesitant across the points. Um, so I am going to give the points a good clean and possibly just have a check of the uh, condition of the wheels on the Loco. But um, after this video, I will give it a good run and see if that uh, makes any difference. So yeah, there we go, guys. That was the look at the Bachmann Lord Nelson class. If you're thinking of buying one, go for it, guys. They're really, really nice models. But just be warned, if you are going to get one of these, this um, age or this exact loco, guys, you're going to pay a lot more than 65 quid. They are on eBay for sale for £110, which is exactly the same model. So, you know, they're mainly over the 100 mark now, guys. I think I just got one heck of a deal from MIB models, considering... You know, I could have told you it was a brand new model. It looks it, doesn't it? It really does. So then, guys, just before I go, the next video will be a running session. Um, hopefully we're going to have two before the end of August. One will be a general running session, and then we're going to have a summer steam up with some of the steam locos here towards the end of August, which I'm going to choose a selection of steam locos to run in that. Um, this engine here will be included in the summer steam up, so keep your eyes out for that. Because I don't really do enough running sessions, do I? I know people tell me, 
The reason is they take so much work to film. You don't realise, guys, if you don't do them yourselves. But I hopefully will do two running sessions this month. So, guys, thank you very much for watching today. Um, and goodbye.